So I get it. I've been a property owner. I currently own a couple of real estate properties myself. I understand this is real estate holdings, your biggest asset in life, basically. Here in the Bay Area, an average home price is around 1.5 million for a single family home. So it is a huge chunk of money. It's an extremely important decision that you are making to sell this biggest asset in your life and who you hire really matters. Today, I want to show you my process of getting your home prepared, marketed, and sold for the best results. Okay, when a client reach out to me about selling their home, I become their main contact person. I walk them through that process, I manage the process. However, behind me, there is a team of vendors that supports me. So I could support you in accomplishing your home sale. Uh, so the vendors that I work with, including a handyman team, construction team, if it's a bigger home renovation, we might have to hire a contractor, an architect, interior designer. I also have a couple of stages who decorate the home to showcase the best light of your property. A team of inspectors who comes in and do a thorough home inspection. So there are probably items that we could address before we even put the property on the market. There is a professional photographer and videographer as well as graphic designers to design your dedicated website. I also work with a marketing person to showcase your home at the best light, not only in a walkthrough video, but in the online presence throughout the process to make sure your home is not only featured in the best light, but is exposed to the broadest audience possible. In addition, once we get into escrow, I also have a team of title companies that I work with and escrow officers that we work with to make sure that the closing is smooth and the distribution of funds uh, is handled correctly. So I become your main contact person, but behind me, I have a list of vendors that I work with to ensure a smooth and successful process of your home cell. So let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get into step one. You have this idea of selling your home. You might be thinking about relocating. You might be thinking about upsizing, downsizing. It's time for you to leave this beautiful home that you have lived. If you call home for the last 10, 15, sometimes longer, and you are not sure where to start, number one step is to find the right person, to find the right real estate agent. Uh, typically, this is where I come in. I sit down with a homeowner. I try to understand their timeline, their objective. I do a thorough walkthrough of their property identify some preliminary repair that they could do before putting the property on the market. Most of the time when my clients who are ready to move, they just want to hand me the key and let me handle the rest. And that's also where I come in with my list of vendors. Oftentimes there are some small repairs such as, you know, the floors need to be refinished. The interior need to be repainted. Uh, we could change out some light fixtures to modernize the home. In my most recent Daily City listing, we redid the kitchen, took out the tile countertop, replaced it with quartz countertop. We also replaced the flooring from vinyl to this modern floor tiles, as well as putting hexagon, very modern chic tiles on the backsplash. So we turned this 80s looking kitchen into a modern modern, very new and bright kitchen. So that's also something that I've done in my listings uh, is to handle and manage small home repair projects. Once that is done, I work with a home stager to decorate the space. How we manage the space and how we present the space will be very important because it shows well in photo, it will show well in a 3D scan. It gives people imagination on how, what they can use the space for. So the next step is to bring in this home stager and really do a initial evaluation of furniture placement of the space. Once the home is ready for market, we email blast out to the local real estate agent network on this home being coming up soon in a couple of weeks. If they have clients who are looking in this particular price point, particular neighborhood, they could, they could start telling their clients about it. So we drum up the traffic before it even hit the market. And once the day of going live comes, we will 
again bless out a couple email uh, notification once we go live on the market we will host uh, several open houses once it go live we have a twilight open house where we oftentimes serve cheese and wine on a friday night invite the neighbors over the neighbors oftentimes could help increase the impression of this property sometimes buyers like to talk to the neighbors so we definitely want to make sure neighbors present the home in the best light we'll host twilight open houses we also host weekend open houses to make sure that we capture the traffic of buyers who are actively looking in this price point and this particular neighborhood once we have enough interest we make the disclosure available to potential buyers answer questions that they might have and we will set offer dates and once the offer date is said we typically would love to see multiple offers and we have multiple offers that's when we could get the best price result and perhaps even get the top offers to compete against each other for an even higher price offer once we get into contract accepted an offer there's a 30-day process and during that this 30-day process i stay in constant contact with the buyer's agent to make sure that the buyer's loan of funding is moving forward and the home is getting appraised at a favorable value and uh, we will go into closing smoothly so from a to z i manage the whole process for you so you have the least amount of worry what you want to focus on when you decide to sell is to start your next chapter uh, this may be at another location here locally it could be across the country or it could be moving out of the area entirely I want you to have the ease to focus on starting the next chapter of your life and not have to worry about managing the process and that's where I come in. And I know this is a lot of information. I do have a simplified guide that you could download down below of the home selling process, step one to step 15. So download that guide for a simplified version. I would love to have the opportunity to sit down with you and understand your objective in selling your home.